Another day, another update. One thing I do have to say about the latest watchOS 10.1 update. It's a bit disappointing. If you didn't know, there's a lot of users that are experiencing a bunch of battery drains and uh, issues. So today, this is why I'm making this video because the day after that, Apple has just released the second point update to watchOS 10. So the update that I'm talking about, you can see it here. This is my Apple Watch Ultra. I will talk about this maybe later in the video, but you can see if we go to settings, go to general and go to where it says software update, we have watchOS 10.2 beta. Now, this is the first developer beta. If you are a public beta tester, then expect this update to be coming out pretty soon. It sometimes takes a few hours or in most cases, it comes out the next day for public beta testers. Now here, in case you want to see the download file size, it's actually pretty easy to see. And on my device, if I go back and go to where it says storage right there, you can see watchOS 10 beta 2 is taking up 756.9 megabytes so it's more than doubled when it comes to the down actual download file size and i'll be happy to tell you that this is not all that apple released today in fact they released a number of updates and you can see them right here on the operating system page ios as well as ipad os 17.2 these is also Mac OS 14.2, the first developer beta, Watch OS 10.2, of course. This is the video for that that I'm making. We also have tvOS 17.2 beta. Most of these I do cover here on the channel at Half Men Half Tech. So if you want to stay up to date and keep, you know, knowing what's new within these operating systems, then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Right now, my device is up to date. It's been a few hours. I've been testing this operating system for a few hours and right here if we go into my device you can see if we go into the settings go to general and go to software update we are up to date and we go to the about this watch section you can see we are on watch os 10.2 and the build number that we have is 21 s 5331F. So it has an F at the end, and in terms of stability, it just goes to show that we still need to go a few more steps or a few more updates before we can see this being released to the general public. Now, in terms of new features and changes that are here, there isn't a lot. In fact, there is one really good major change that has been implemented, and that has to do with contacts. And one of the changes that I noticed when I was using this device, if you try and do the name drop, you notice the animation comes faster and also the vibration that the haptic feedback or the vibration your watch makes is more prominent. So okay, so you can see here, it actually is staying longer. And because I didn't do it properly, you give, give it some time and you will see this animation tend to something else you can see it's continuing for a long time and now because i didn't do it properly the first time right now it's showing me this animation that shows how to connect the two devices together apple watch and iphone you, the iphone should cover at least half of the apple watch and apple watch to apple watch they just have to touch each other physically and that's a new change that's here with this update of watch os 10.2 also, another change that's here that also has to do with contact, it's mentioned within the operating system of this device, but to be able to illustrate it better, I'll have to go into my iPhone. So you notice here, here there's a new feature that has to do with iMessage contact key verification. And it says with iMessage contact key verification, users can choose to further verify that they are messaging only with the person they are intending to speak to and this is a feature that was announced in december last year so it almost took apple one year to be able to deliver this to the apple watch and to the iphone and to the mac as well as ipads because as long as you use imessage on those devices this imessage contact key verification is enabled and um, this is a feature that's mainly supposed to be used by those that are highly targeted targeted by hackers or cyber criminals such as government officials, uh, activists, journalists. So 
this is a good one and the way you actually activate this feature is really easy so on your iPhone or on the watch it's hard to do so I'll demonstrate that on the iPhone if you go into for example your messages and select the message that you want to do this feature or enable contact key verification if you are going to be talking like sensitive stuff with tech hype if you go all the way down you notice turn on contact key verification and it says verify who you are messaging with by comparing contact verification codes in person or over the phone and then you can click here where it says learn more and you'll be able to read more about this if you don't want to access it through the contacts you can also do it by going into your settings and then if you click where it says your apple id right there and then if you go all the way down you can see contact key verification and if you want you can turn it on right there and there's a pop-up screen that says contact key verification contact key verification allows you to manually verify who you are messaging if you want you can continue and set it up or if you want you can set it up later now if you click continue right now you can see it takes a moment and it says you need to update all your devices this is my macbook pro that hasn't been updated to the latest mac os 14.2 we also have my iphone 6s that is not yet uh it just says this device cannot be updated to the latest version of ios so you can see it tells you whether the device supports this and it's a good thing because my watch is not showing up because i just updated it to watch os 10.2 so as long as your ios device your watch os and mac os device are updated they are not going to show up to here or, or on the list of devices that are supposed to be updated now that's a good thing before i can turn on contact key verification uh I basically i'll say okay for now so that i don't have to turn it on but another cool thing that i wanted to share with you that's here within this update that carries over for focus because i set my apple watch to mirror my iphone when it comes to focus has to do with the music focus so if we go to this focus section choose any focus that you want to customize that carries over to your apple watch so you can see if we go to focus and for example we select h i created it for testing and you can see that my focus is mirrored onto my other apple devices including my apple watch so if you go down a little bit and add where it says focus filter and click there you notice that we have a section that has to do with the music app or thanks to some of the new updates that are there for the music app and if you click there you can see that you can choose if music played will influence recommendation and mixes appear in recently played or be shown to other on apple music and this is something that you can turn on to use listening history or if you don't want to use your listening history you can avoid that and if you're a person that uses the apple music app on the apple watch then this is something that will carry over when you go into a specific focus that's mirrored on your apple watch so that's pretty good and it's a good thing that's here with this update now other than that there isn't really much that's changed when it comes to watch always 10.2 a thing that i don't like about this update is that apple hasn't really mentioned much about watch always 10.1 maybe it's because since watch always 10.1 just came out and people are just realizing that hey even if i have the new apple watch series 9 on the apple watch ultra 2 that just came out my battery is like draining in three or four hours the release notes of this watch os 10.2 even though it's in beta doesn't mention that apple is trying to combat that using this update so maybe before watch os 10.2 comes out officially to the general public apple might release an update to fix some of the battery issues like um, watch os 10.1 point something just to try and fix that battery issue because it is affecting a lot of people and apple hasn't mentioned anything with it or any fix with regards to it so that's the update that i have here let me know what you think about this video i'll be covering mac os pretty soon so if that's something that you want to see definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out now stay safe and i'll see you in the next video pretty soon peace
flexing, I'm leading cause life is a blessing I'm currently counting my blessing, ascending for heavens I'm headed away from the universe, I'm coming back, not as human things Came to the touch, I'm a sinner, but not a beginner Though every day is a beginning, I'm critically breathing I'm dusty, I'm kicking my inches, you nasty, I spit on your Misery home, you, misery home, you I never liked you, and you never liked me, say one But nothing contagious is my anger Riding around in the city, I'm so